All right, moving on. Uh, we're going to get to our first television show here, and it's the first project that's going to be released for this new universe. That's going to be Creature Commandos. Here's a little backstory on Creature Commandos. Um, so it's an animated series that's going to be on HBO Max, and it was the first project that was greenlit by Saffron and, and Gunn. <laughs> and James Gunn uh, wrote every single episode for, for the series. Uh, the Creature Commandos first launched in 1980, and the premise features Frankenstein's monster teaming up with the werewolf, vampire, a gor and a gorgon to fight Nazis in World War II. Um, and it doesn't wow. appear that Gunn's version takes the same approach because Weasel, one of the characters from 2021 film The Suicide Squad, is one of the commandos, along with Rick Flagg Sr., uh, the father of Rick Flagg what? from the Suicide Squad movies. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a different version wow. of the creature commandos. Um, you could possibly see Frankenstein's monster, but... We know for right now, two of the characters are going to be Rick Flag Sr. and Weasel. It's animated. And Gunn also said that he uh, said that actors who are voicing characters on the show will also play the roles in live action later on in the DC. I love that. Um, love which is that. a big deal. So the connectivity is big time for this. Um, so whoever voices these characters in this show, possibly, if we see them ever in live action, that will be who is playing them. So I will say this right off the bat. I'm very much looking forward to this this show. <laughs> I think this is an awesome idea. Um, it's fun. It's different. It's unique. It's one of those obscure projects that we talked about that is so different and wild, but can bring together so many different things. I very much put this in the vein with World by Night, kind of what Marvel just did with that property. Um, and it's going to be animated, which is really cool, and it lends them to do a lot of different things. Uh, I think there's a lot of cool possibilities. I would love to see them fight Nazis, but if it's taking <laughs> place in modern day, that's probably not going to happen. Uh, maybe it's just the Russians instead. Who knows? Uh, but I'm all in for Creature Commandos. And it being the first project uh, out there, too, is actually pretty cool as well. So thoughts, boys? Go ahead, Jacob. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, I, I will admit I've never heard of this before until today. Never. Um, and I, I don't know anyone who has. But, uh, <laughs> but I'm look, it's James Gunn. He wrote it all. I knew as soon as James Gunn was announced as co-chairman, I knew like 10% of the projects we're going to get are going to be passion projects that James Gunn has been wanting to do his whole entire life that he probably already had ideas for before ever getting this job. And I'm okay with that. I'm not hating on him for it. Like anybody would do this in their position. They're going to do what they want to do as long as he gives the same love to the other stuff too. So we're going to get this weird, obscure stuff. I'm very curious. Cause like, then it also brings up the question, is this Rick Flag Singer the dad of the Joel Kinnaman Rick Flag? Like, it, you know, or is it like the Rick Flag Senior from the new DCU? Like that. So I'm curious about that. And then is Weasels probably from Suicide Squad? So yeah, that's what the article said. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's interesting. Like it's gonna be like at every project that comes out, we're gonna learn a new thing about this whole new DC plan. And it's gonna just like a new puzzle piece each time. So I'm curious to see how this turns out. Um, Jake, did you grab that image? What image? The one that they put out for it of the characters. No, but I was just grabbing a random one online. Oh, here. I have it right here. Uh, <sighs> so I think it looks cool. I, I mean, I'm... Is, was that an official image or is that like from the comics? It's the one that everyone's using. It and was probably it was probably in the video with James Gunn. That's why. Yeah, they oh, put up images okay. while he was talking. So is yeah. Weasel and Rick Flag in that's, this image? That's the one I was pulling. So that's that's oh, the, oh. that's the image. Yeah. yeah. So oh, so it is Frankenstein's. Be... It is Frankenstein's monster. Weasel, Rick Flag Senior, and a couple of other characters. Yeah. As well. So I have the and list right what, here. The DC Ghost Rider is that, <laughs> is that who it that says, is? So their group consists of Bride of Frankenstein, which in the video they said is, is the leader essentially. Not surprised. Uh, Dr. Phosphorus, which is the uh, the ghost rider looking one. Um, and then Rick Flagg Sr., uh, Eric Frankenstein, obviously, G.I. Robot, obvious, <laughs> and Dr. Nina Mazursky and Weasel. So, Wait, uh, is Dr. Nina Mazursky the one? The, the, fish. the fish. The fish. <laughs> fish. Yeah. fish you know what? This is awesome. <laughs> honestly I, I, I you can't <laughs> not expect james gunn to do random wild characters 
So I'm kind of all on board with it. And I love the idea of um, the actors having to voice and play them in live. I think mm-hmm. that's a genius move to like, mm-hmm. this is like before you even think about it, like we're not going to get like Ashley Eckstein where it's like, she's going to do this voice. Yeah. And then eventually you think of 20 years later or whatever. Oh, it'd be kind of cool if we used her in live action, but we can't use the voiceover. Well, I think then who does Rick flag senior look like? Cause that's who <laughs> she's playing him in live action. I don't know, but I, I, I love John that- Hamm. Oh, that there you that's perfect. There we go. <laughs> that's casting table. Yeah. Um, but I I it's cool. I love that there are that they already thought like that uh, that of that ahead. Like, hey, this is at some point going to be live action. Wait, or- so they're doing the Universal Monster movie before Universal ever gets to do it. Yeah. Because they got Pretty Frankenstein much. and Frankenstein's monster and Bride of Frankenstein, <laughs> which yeah. which were supposed to be part of that. So, I, I mean, I'm down for it. I think it looks cool. I'm excited. I And, I mean, DC can get away with doing more graphic and violent and stuff like that. And I guarantee <clears throat> this is going to be one of those shows. That's Well, and it was in the announcement. Um, I don't know if it came from James Gunn directly or not. But each project will be rated based on the project. Based on the project. Um, so, th- the only reason I ask this is because this show reminds me of it. Did they say anything about Harley Quinn, like the no. show? Because no, they already greenlit season four. She'll probably mm-hmm. just be an Elseworld thing. Okay, because like, even that's an in Elseworld that project, image, yeah. it didn't show Harley Quinn down there. But I know that well, wasn't that's an a, that's an Elseworlds project. Yeah, yeah. No, I, mean, I know it is. But I'm, they're not going to cancel it, right? <laughs> I don't think so because she's doing one that thing, show's yeah. doing so well with the wars yeah. and stuff too. But yeah, cool creature commandos. Have I heard of it before? No, I'm not going to even fake that I'm <laughs> that I knew it. But we need to come up with a DC review show, boys. By the way, um, uh, yeah. let's not do that now because we have to move stuff. on. We have a lot to talk about. We got a lot to talk about. DC um, decoded. There you go. That's possible.